Hello everyone, my name is Anusha Saravanan. New mom of a three month old Lotus baby, Adriti. I am here to share with you my Lotus birthing experience and the knowledge that I have gained in this period. This is my fifth video of the seven part lotus birthing series that I did in a hospital and here I'm going to tell you what are your do's and the don'ts and how you care for the placenta. Uh, since I was traveling back from Chennai to Bangalore and I'm under home quarantine with no help and support, uh, the videos got a little delayed to get posted. So let's get started with how you take care of the placenta. Like I had said before, this is a seven part of Lotus Birthing series that I'm sharing with you. My experience of Lotus Birth in a hospital in Chennai. A small recap is uh, the previous video which I had done, which is a hospital bag that I will link. Um, so you will need a Kengen Strong Acidic 2.5 pH water or pink Himalayan salt, dry damask rose, turmeric powder, neem leaf powder, vetiver or custard powder and the lavender essential oil. So uh, that being said, we will uh, have the optional supplies which I'm going to list here. Those are the salt lamp, Himalayan salt lamp that you can buy from an online shop or a known source. And then a cloth bag uh, to carry the placenta. A baby sleep bag wherein you can put the baby and the placenta together if you have to go for hospital visits or you want uh, someone to carry in your house. It will be very very convenient. And then a colander wash through or rinse uh, the placenta and then an amulet to save the umbilical cord and then a planter to bury the placenta if you choose to. So things to keep in handy before you start washing the placenta is a washing bowl and a colander, a pink Himalayan salt, King and Strong 2.5 pH acidic water and then some chuck sheets, powders and petals and whatever I had mentioned in the video before and then a tie for your chucks pad. So uh, when you begin you can watch the video. Uh, this is from uh, Queen Birthing, a wonderful person who had shared how to wash your placenta. So when you start washing, you will see that you get a lot of blood clots. You will have to wash them a couple of times. And please don't be upset with the amount of blood that is coming. It's not your baby's blood. It is the blood that is there in the placenta. Uh, so once uh, you are very thorough uh, about washing, it may take around 7 to 8 rinses for you to completely come out, get out of the uh, blood. You make sure that there is no blood and there are no blood clots. So once you wash it, uh, if you don't have Kengen 2.5 acidic water, then you put some Himalayan salt and then give it a good wash and wash it in like not too cold or not too hot water. Try to keep it in a room temperature warm water. So the last wash that you will do will be with a salt water wash and then you take off all the blood that is there. So we used Kengen 2.5 pH acidic water so we did not have any of the blood stains that were there and I am 100% sure that my uh, placenta was completely sterilized and there were no microbes because of the Kengen water. So after you do that you will have to come take off the moisture that is there, the excess moisture in a chucks pad. If you don't want to buy chucks pads, you can probably uh, throw off using some um, old rags uh, to completely pad dry the placenta. So once it is completely dry, then uh, you have to change the chucks pad and then add in your powders and the salts, uh, whatever I had given you, whatever I had shared. So this is what we did. Um, as you can see, uh, there is a lot of salt. Salt protects from germs, infections, from rotting, from so many things. So add as much salt as possible. So once you wash off um, and then you wait for 3 to 10 days depending on when the climatic conditions or when the cord is uh, yet to fall. And then hmm, you have your lotus baby there. So what do you do with the placenta once the cord falls off? That is completely to be decided by you and your family traditions. But I can still tell you um, around the globe what Robbie Lim had shared in her book. So most of them do bury their placenta. Now, in old Egyptians there used to be a small practice of eating a small teeny tiny bit to compensate the blood loss during pregnancy. And uh, Robbie Lim says even now if the birthing woman has hemorrhage then a small portion of the placenta is going to save her 
from uh, not having any more blood loss the place from where robby limb comes it is called ari ari which means human twin as consigns and uh, it is buried with sanskrit prayers and there they will give a punishment which is considered very very terrible for the person to go far away from the place where the placenta has been buried uh, it is proven that it will give extreme grief and mental illness so what i did was i packed the placenta in a grow bag coral jasmine tree and then i bought it back to bangalore uh, along with the baby and it is there in our garden now uh, from there you can see um, that my husband is holding the placenta and i'm holding the baby and then how we uh, took care of the placenta and then we planted and then the cord is saved in an amulet so uh, how you save uh, this umbilical cord which is very very priceless this cord can be stored very very safely in an amulet this cord uh, after uh, it is done it is cut from the placenta and then a small portion is hand pound to powder using a mortar and pestle so the remaining is then named and stored carefully in case there is a life threat for the baby or when it grows there is a life threat then a small pinch of this great powder in warm milk or water when taken inside will act like stem cells to the body that can rejuvenate the entire body to the health that the baby was born that is the beauty and this is an indian tradition which has been followed um, so i buried uh, the placenta um, later and i have saved the cord in an amulet i have two amulets for that so this is all about taking care of the placenta if you like this video um, keep watching and do subscribe to the channel next is going to be on where you can do this the biggest question that i had and many of us would have so stay tuned